Okay, what I want to do right here is uh, try to solve a formatting problem. Uh, I, I really didn't talk about it on the previous video, but it was still bothering me. And um, what that problem was, was right in this area of the chart where I was doing the vertex coordinates. If you remember, uh, you know, I, I was doing text boxes, and I did a separate text box for the term vertex coordinates. And then I individually did separate text boxes for uh, each of these coordinate pairs. So, um, and if, then if you remember, I, I talked about how we do those text boxes. And then I was having a problem getting them lined up. And it seemed to me there ought to be some way to get one text box with a line for each coordinate pair. But I, I didn't know how to do it. And uh, so I did what I will always tell you to do, and that is when you don't understand how to do something, Google it. Okay, um, now what some things that I know are true is I know that when I want to do a line feed in text, in other words, I want to start a new line, there is in fact an ASCII character called line feed. And if I could somehow knew how to insert that ASCII character into the text, maybe when I uh, tried to do a single text box with three lines in it, maybe that character line feed in there would work just like I wanted it to and just give me three lines. So how would I do that? So between Google and a little middle just sort of guess, guessing, I call it intuition, um, I think I found a way to do it. So in particular, I've now uh, produced uh, this line here, and I did this with a concatenate statement, which we've used before. Now, what I've done here is I have equals concatenate. I have C4 comma. What that does is it takes whatever is in box C4, which is this box right here, this cell, takes this cell, and then it just takes this set of characters and just puts them there. I put a comma. Then I put quote, quote, right next to each other with nothing in between them. Now, whatever I in, put in between the, quote, the quotes is a text string. Uh, and it will put that um, uh, in, the, uh, in the text statement right here. Because I have nothing between the quotes, uh, it, put not, it puts nothing there. So I go to a lot of work putting in double quotes, and I do that to put in nothing. Now, notice that, for example, I can put my uh, cursor between the codes. I'll hit a bunch of spaces, hit return, and indeed, those spaces go right here. Okay? So, I, whatever I put in between the codes, quotes will, will appear right there. Okay, so let's go back up to here. Let me just delete all those spaces for the time being. Okay, now what I want to do is create a, put a new text box right in here that's going to have three lines in it. Each line will have its own pair of coordinates. So how do I, let, let's, let me do that right now. So uh, what I want to do then is to, um, okay, click, and then I want to just, just click in any cell. And then I do, then I want to put in a text box. So I go insert text box there. So now I have, I have a, a little, my cursor is replaced by a, a little character of an uppercase A, and I'll just click here, and that gives, my, gives me my text box, which I can make larger like that if I want. Okay, there, there's my text box. Okay, now I, what I want to put in the text box, what I do there is I go back up here in my formula uh, space, I hit equal, and then I will click on, on what happened to my concatenate here. i got a whole bunch of things here. Click on that, uh, which has a whole bunch of baloney in it. Now hit return, and it gives me, types it all in there with all that baloney. So let me get rid of the baloney here. Okay, right in there. Here's the baloney I want to get rid of. Okay, there, 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 there. There, okay, now I'll hit return. So now, 
I have, uh, it's giving me, you know, the reason why it's just putting them on separate lines is because the text box is too small to put them in there. If I make the text box larger, they'll come out like that. Or larger, they'll come out like that. So how can I force it to do a new line in between my coordinate pairs? Well, what I do is I come back to this cell right in here, and then in between the quote marks, I I hit Control Option Return simultaneously. Control Option. Now I hit Return, and it gives me that. Now notice this goes to a new line. This hasn't yet, and this doesn't. Now, but if I hit Return up here, this this automatically then forces this into a new line. Now let me now do here in this location. I'll do Control Option Return. Now I hit the Return key and it gives me that. So it's giving me each set of coordinate pairs is on its own line. Now on my Mac is the key the, the keystroke is simultaneously hit Control Option and then hit the Return key. On the PC maybe it's Control Alt and then the Return key. Uh, so give that a shot. Okay so now I figured out how to get my three coordinates all together like that so I don't have to worry about you know all the problems I had before. So let me just delete these. Delete. There. Delete. I just hit delete there and then hit that, hit delete, so those are gone. Now I click on this, I can pull this in if I like. Oh, that's too much, a little bit there. You just pull that right over here, just like that, there. Now, maybe I can move it up a little bit. There, move it up a little bit. So there, I have my all my, all my three coordinates all in there, all lined up. But then, of course, I, I have this sort of useless item in here that I'm using just as an intermediate step to get these three coordinates lined up here. And maybe, you know, format-wise, I don't want that uh, on my spreadsheet. Okay, here's a trick. Now, this is a trick I learned back in the 1990s, I guess, when the web, uh, in, when the World Wide Web was just entering the scene, believe it or not, most businesses back then would think that they didn't need a web page. I'd go into a place and I'd say, you guys need to have a web page, and they would say, why? Um, and um, it, because I, I, what I was doing at that time as I was setting up some things for my friends, I was showing them how to set up their computer to access the World Wide Web, and pretty much everybody in, in their private homes, they did it using a call-in modem, and you actually had to set up the software, uh, you know, and, and actually write some code in order to, to enable that to happen. Um, of course, uh, now everything is very nicely built in. But, um, okay, so uh, with that now, um, I, I want to show you with that introduction, how do we get rid of this? And it's because back in the old days, before Google, uh, the early web search engines, what they did was they looked at all the text on your web page uh, and um, you were listed high or low um, in, a, in a web search, let's say early Yahoo, and then there was Netscape and, and AltaVista, search engines like that. So if I wanted to make my company web page where I was a hardware store show prominently near the top of a search, what I would do is I would I would put the text hardware store as many times as I could in the web page. <clears throat> I just wanted to type it over and over and over again. Um, but of course, that that makes for a pretty bad web page for somebody to look at. You don't want to have lines and lines of the words hardware store repeated over and over again. So what I figured out to do is that I would change the font. 
So here, let me just let me just merge these two sets. Oh, I guess I don't have to. What I did was I would um, merge, change the font to the same color as the background color. And uh, so let me see if I can do that here. First of all, let me merge these two cells, this cell and this cell. Um, so I go to uh, Format, Cells, uh, Alignment, Merge Cells, OK, there. Now let me just select this here. Somehow, if I can do it. There, I got that all selected. Now I would go here to where I pick my font color, and it doesn't want me to do that. Okay, well, there's got to be a way to do that. Let me get rid of my formula builder here. Um, okay, let me see if I could do it. Let me just hit escape right here. It does give me a font color, and I would pick font white. So how can I pick the font color on this? Oh, don't want that. Uh, does it want me? Let's see. Well, it doesn't, uh, I, I, there, there's got to be a way to do it. I just don't see it, obviously, how to do that. Um, I wonder if it's part of the concatenate command. So let me look at the functions, more functions, concatenate. Join several text strings into one text string. Well, I perhaps could make these fonts be invisible and then just leave this for the vertex coordinates. Actually that might be okay. Um, let me just try that. I'll hit escape. Now I'll go right here. And uh, I seem to actually be running in the same problem. Now I can do that. So let me try there. Okay that works. Now there, now let me undo that. Let me try something that. Undo, now click here. Now, just click. I'm not going up here to do anything. Not selecting this. So just click and do this. That does it. Okay, got it. So I've now just gotten rid of that. Gotten rid of that. Now, I want to make sure not to write anything on top of that. So maybe I should move it to some place where um, I don't, I'm not in danger of trying to type something there and, and screwing up. So let me select it. So I'm there. I'm going to do a cut. There, you see I have my walking ants. And I'm just going to put it right here. Paste. There. Hit return. Well, there it is. Now this right here is that whole big concatenate thing, and it's not in the way anymore. Okay, so much for that. Now, now I'm back. Um, I want to uh, figure out how to compute um, the length of the sides of the triangle and the size of the angles. So let me finish up this video now by just computing the length of the sides of the triangle. Now to do, to do that I'll just use the formula that you probably learned in algebra or geometry or pre-calc. You may have learned it in all three 
And that is, if I have the coordinates for two points, how do I find the distance between the two points? So the way that's done is I take the difference, let's say if I have this vertex, which is here, and this vertex, which is here, I just subtract the two x coordinates and square it. I subtract the two y coordinates, square it, add those two together, and that gives me the length of the line squared. In other words, I, I, I had the formula like, uh, um, if, well, let me just show you. Okay, so what I want to do now is compute length of the sides. Okay, so I'll just type in L-E-N-G-T, length of sides. There, hit return. Now let me just merge these two together. Um, format cells, merge cells, okay. Now, so I want to do the length of the side between these two coordinates. Now, actually, I have my individual coordinates expressed here. So that means I want to put, let's say, side, I'll call this side A, side A, and I use lowercase letters for the sides, equals, and now I'll put the length, and I might want to change the way I represent that here. So side A equals, and hit return. Now, right here, I'm going to put my expression. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say equals here equals. Uh, I'm going to put in parentheses. Then I'm going to put this minus this and square it. So this minus this, close parentheses, square. So that's what I have right there. I should have 0 minus 3 squared is 9, but I'm not finished. So now I have... Now I want to do this minus this and square it. So I'll put plus, and then I'll put B1, oh, that's B4, we put a parenthesis in there, parenthesis B4 minus B2, parenthesis, square like that. So that gives me side, the length of side A. I'll call that length of side A and I'll put uh, side A squared like that. Side A squared equals 18. Um, I do the same thing now for side B and side, side C. Uh, let me put that in there. Side C or side B squared equals I return. Now let me put the formula in there. Let's say side B is the distance from this point to this point. That's the distance from this to that. Okay, so I'll click in there and I'll put equals and then I will put um, paren and I'll do this minus this paren squared now plus paren this minus this paren squared and that gives me um, this is 4. Well, you, uh, let's see. This, does that make sense? Uh, this is 2. 2 squared is 4. This is 0. Uh, 0 squared is 0, so 4 plus, so that's right. Now I'll put side C. Now, let me just see here. Can I take this, if I drag it down, um, sides, no, it won't work, and, and, uh, and I see why. Let's see. Side C squared equals. Now, side C is I take the distance between um, this and this. So this is going to be my um, first coordinate again down here, okay? So I said this is equal to, now let me put here equals, 
uh, put paren, uh, this minus this squared plus paren this minus this squared return. There's 34. Is that right? 5 squared is 25 plus uh, 9 is 34. That looks right to me. Okay, so um, so I now have this. Now one other thing I'm wondering about is can I you know write this with actually a superscript rather than a caret up? Um, let me just click on this right in here. Let me select this character right there. Now here. Alignment and spacing, page setup, orientation, format. Maybe I can do this here. There's that. It works. Take out the carrot. Hit return. There's that. Now let's do this one. Same thing. Got that. Hit this. Take out the carrot. Return. Got that. Now do the same thing here. Select the two, hit this, take out the carrot, there. Okay, now I have that. Now one more thing I might want to do here is select all three of these right here. Let's say go from here. I don't want this one down here. Just go from here to here. And now go up here, alignment and spacing and I will move them to the right side of the cell. Here, do alignment and spacing. Do they, how does it look if I move them to the left side of the cell? It doesn't look bad. Okay, now, one more thing that's occurred to me that I may want to do. Uh, well, before I do that, uh, a second thing just occurred to me. Let me just center that, just like that. Okay, is these two numbers, you know, those, those are kind of extra things in there I don't want either. So let me select that and then make the text white. Select this here and make the text white. There. So now it's in there, but it's kind of not messing up the spreadsheet. So you don't have to explain it to anybody. Okay, now um, that will be the finish of this video. And I'll probably do one more here uh, before I uh, before I'm finished uh, with this uh, discussion about how we set this spreadsheet up in Excel. So next time.